we've had we've had we've had a lot of questions during the week saying when are those lovely ladies going to be on sports cars the answer is soon we're just getting Derek here good evening Derek good evening getting ready for them yes it'll take him a month of preparatory thank you did we get that what's it say Dailies go okay. Yes. By the way, by the way, just before you go, do you remember this? You used to get one of those when you were six and it's on elastic and it just goes around it. Anyway, let, thank you. You can go and sit down next, next bit. By the way, let me remind you, tomorrow night, live rugby here on Sportscast at 9.40, Auckland versus Hawke's Bay. It's rugby from New Zealand, 9.40, tomorrow night, Auckland versus Hawke's Bay. And then on Thursday, the new time, 9.40, don't forget that, all right, make a note. And then on Thursday, we have Boxing from Barking, which is a great place to have boxing from, isn't it? Boxing from, sound effects courtesy of everybody at Dailies. Boxing from Barking on Thursday, some cracking rugby at 9.40 on Wednesday, tomorrow night. Okay, welcome back to Dailies. Having a terrific, terrific time. It's a wonderful night here, John. Yes. We can't hear a thing we're here. We can't hear a thing we're saying, but we're having a great time. Now, wherever you are, right up and down the country, if you have just joined us in the middle of the evening, welcome to Sportscast, British Aerospace's live pub quiz every Tuesday night. If you don't know how to play, I, I know a lot of people are halfway through the competition. We'll go to the question shortly. You should have one of those. You can do it next week. Should have one of those at the end of the night. We're going to go through all the questions. Tick them off. What we'll do is split this. The top comes off. The top has actually gone off this one. But the top comes off. You hand that in to your landlord or landlady behind the bar. Then we mark them all. We find out who's the winner. Make sure your name's on the bottom before you hand it in, of course. We find out who the winner is. Then the winner from each pub, landlord or landlady, please send that winning entry form to us at Sportscast in Manchester. The address is on the back. Nothing to worry about. Send it to us. Then next week, those people could stand a chance of getting in the draw for the final and then the prize let me remind you of the prize it is a fabulous trip for two to Disney World in Florida one of the most outstanding prizes courtesy of championship travel so if you fancy going there and I can highly recommend it well that's the way to do it Suzanne here we go shall we go for the next round which is people and places John let's go for people and places eyes down look in we have 20 more questions to go two sections of 10 People and places, are you ready, Dailies? Here we go. People and places, question number one. Which U.S. city stands of the site of the French Fort Duquesne and is named after a British Prime Minister? Which U.S. city stands on the site of the French port or French Fort Duquesne and is named after a British Prime Minister? Now that's a cracking question. People and places. Question number two. How are they doing? Which textile pattern takes its name from a town in Scotland? Which textile pattern takes its name from a town in Scotland? That is question number two. People and places, question number three. What was it established as an independent state by the Lateran Treaty of 1929 between Mussolini and the Pope? Let me read that question again. It's a difficult question. What was established as an independent state by the Lateran Treaty of 1929 between Mussolini and the Pope? Fancy an easy one after that. Okay. <laughs> Who was Cher's first husband? I want his full name, please, not just his Christian name. People and places, question number four. Cher's first husband was called who? <laughs> shoop, shoop. I'm kidding. Kidding. Really am. People and places, question number five. In which London Square 
was a statue of Eisenhower unveiled in January 1988. Try it again for you. In which London Square was a statue of Eisenhower unveiled in 1988? How you doing? Question six, we're up to. Do you want to read a question? Go on. It's a pop music one. Wayne Hussey is the lead singer with which group? Do it again. You did it so beautifully. Look how the lips move and enunciate. Wayne Hussey is the lead singer with which group? That's a nice question for you. And an up-to-date question. Very well done. Thank you very much indeed. Lovely earrings. Can you get... Oh, very nice. Can you get sports cast on those? Almost. <laughs> In which TV series, this is number seven, does Clive Owen play Derek Love, the leading character? That's a cracker. Which TV series does Clive Owen play Derek Love, the leading character? That's question number seven. Question number eight. All right. Which Oscar-winning actor is married to Sinead Cusack. Which Oscar-winning actor is married to actress Sinead Cusack? That's question number eight. How are you on traveling? Let's find out. Which is the most southerly province of Portugal? Is it Algarve, Estremadura, or Baixo Alentejo? How's my Spanish? That bad, huh? Which is the most southerly province of Portugal? Is it the Algarve, Estremadura, or Bajo Alentejo? If you're worried about it, just see it on the screen. <laughs> One more. One more. All right, then. Maybe an easy one for you, defense. Tony Scoggins elected as a Labour councillor for Knowsley in May 1991, plays which character in Brookside? Look at that. That's an eyes down looking question, isn't it? Let me give it to you again. Question number seven, 10. Tony Scoggins, elected as a Labour councillor for Knowsley in May 1991, plays which character in Brookside? And that is your people and places section. We have done three sections so far. We've got another one to come. Where's the, where's, where's the looniest set of people in here tonight? Those you know. In the far corner. The points at it all. Come with me. Do you, do you remember Chipperfields? That's, that's it. Keep them... Boxing on Thursday night. Forget, <laughs> forget barking on Thursday night. It's going to be oh, boxing on Thursday night. Yes. Good evening and welcome to the primeval jungles surrounding Cutter. Fellas, thank you very much. Hang on. Let's let's let. We've got to talk to one. What's your name? Joe. Who? Joe. Joe. Joe is Joe is a. Where are you from? Australia. He is from Australia. Splendid. So, so that accounts for why he's so quiet and sort of mature and sitting at the front. Where, whereabouts in Australia are you from? Queensland. And how long are you over for? Uh, about another four weeks. Another four weeks. <laughs> look, just, just look at that. Look, look, just, just put it next to your face and smile. Girls. Girls who are watching wherever you are, you too can have a body like that if you don't eat up your cabbage. <laughs> Thank you, Ollie. Right. We're going to go for it again. We have one more section to go. It's the last section of tonight. You could be a winner on offer, a chance to get into the final, and a trip for two to Florida in the United States of America 
to Disney World. Could that be you? We shall find out. Are we ready, Suzanne? We're now on to the... General Knowledge section. Oh, sorry. Do it again. We're on to the General Knowledge section now. Thank you very much. Right. Are you ready? Question number one. What did learner drivers first have to display in 1935? Try it again for you. What did learner drivers first have to display on their vehicles in 1935? General knowledge, question number two. Which animal is known collectively as a mob? You just met them a second ago, I think. Uh, which animal? I didn't mean it, fellas. Which animal is known collectively as a mob? Is it kangaroos, monkeys, or hyenas? Kangaroos, monkeys, or hyenas? Suzanne, do you want to read a question? It depends what question it is. Would you like Suzanne to read a question? Which pop group took its name from a sex aid in William Burroughs' novel, The Naked Lunch? And once more, please. Which pop group took its name from a sex aid in William Burroughs' novel, The Naked Lunch? You don't know what they are, do you? Of course not. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Well, I haven't a clue. Question is, have you? That was question number three. Question number four. What was the name of Harvey Smith's first famous horse? What was the name of Harvey Smith's first famous horse? It's question number four. Do you remember it? Think about it logically. It may give you a bit of a clue. On the other hand, it may not. General knowledge question number five. What unlikely astronomical event provided a chart-topping single for the Marcells? What unlikely astronomical event provided a chart-topping single for the Marcells? That is question number five. Question number six. On board which U.S. battleship did the Japanese surrender in September 1945? Let me give you a choice of three. Was it the Maine, the Missouri, or the Florida? The Maine, the Missouri, or the Florida? Which battleship was it that the Japanese surrendered on? It's a who said question. Who said this? Or shall I give you a little bit of a clue? Who said on his return to the saddle, it's always the same, one leg each side of the horse. Famous quote, but from who? Who said on his return to the saddle, it's always the same, one leg at each side of the horse. <laughs> Question number eight. Only a couple to go. Your last chance. Who wrote the searcher's hit, Needles and Pins? And Kim Carnes' hit, Betty Davis' Eyes? Choice of three again. Was it Bert Bacharach, Jackie DeShannon, or Tim Hardin? Question number eight again, general knowledge. Who wrote the searcher's hit, Needles and Pins? Kim Carnes' Betty Davis' Eyes. Were they Bert Bacharach, Jackie DeShannon, or Tim Hardin? Bert Bacharach, Jackie DeShannon, or Tim Hardin? Which one? Choice of three, write it down. We're moving on. General knowledge question number nine. Who did Admiral Dönitz briefly succeed as Führer of Germany? Who did Admiral Dönitz briefly succeed as Führer of Germany? Question number nine. Go on then. Final one. How much in new money is the old coin known as the Florin worth? Nice question to finish on. How much in new money is the old coin known as the florin worth? That's it. General knowledge. Question number 10. The question is, who is it? Okay, we're going to give you the answers very soon. What we want you to do now, though, is get hold of your entry form. Make sure your name is at the bottom. 
make sure your telephone number is at the bottom. Make sure that you've written on it as well what pub or club you took part in. And then rip them into two. I was going to do a demonstration. This is the top copy. And this is, this is one we prepared earlier. That's the top copy. That's the bottom copy. Okay? Hand your top copy, please, to the person who organizes in your pub, club, or wherever you are. All right? So hand that top copy to them. Hang on to your bottom copy. All right? Now, just a word, a reminder to all the landlords, landladies, or whoever organizes it, to make sure that your customers have a chance of winning the trip to Florida, send it, please, the address is on the back. I don't know whether you can see that there, but the address of Sportscast is on the back. Make sure you send the winning entry tonight to us in time for next week, all right? So in the next couple of days, do that, please. Send it off, and who knows, it could be someone from your pub or club who's sitting in the final trying to go for that holiday in Florida. And make sure, please, do it. And next week, it could be you that we pull out of the bag. So good luck on that. Everybody at Dailies is doing very well here. Do you want to go and make sure they're all right? Do you want to go and have a look, look around, make sure that everybody is, is sorted out, all the, all the ones in? I'd like to give you a little bit of time to make sure that everybody has a chance of collecting all the entry forms in. Otherwise, it could be cheating if they hang on to it and mark it right at the end. Who haven't we spoken? We haven't spoken. Come over here if you can. Anyway, let's, let's, excuse me, sir. Turn around a second. There we go. Sweaty. What's your name? Mick Morris. Mick Morris. Who are these reprobates around you? I've never seen them before in my life. <laughs> Do we believe this, man? Do we believe? Who are you? Dean Crawford. Who are you? Dave Ewing. What a, oh, what a deep voice he's got. And you? Mark Beasley. Mark, right. How are you doing, fellas? Let's have a quick fine, look. Fine, Just hold your entry form up so we can have a look at it. Just hold it so the camera can see it. That's it. Right. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. There's some interest. Excuse me. Thank you very much. This is just a blank. I hope you've, you've handed your white copy in, haven't you? I'm resting on that one. You're resting on that one. Okay. Let's have a look round. Some other people as well. I always like to find the people. Hello. Who are you? The lady of the lamp. Christine. Hello, Christine. Have you been sort of competing as a group behind me? No, we haven't. <laughs> oh, someone has over there. It was you, wasn't it? Yeah. How did you do? Terrible. All right. Let's just have a very, very, very brief. We'll find out exactly how everybody has done in here as well. Suzanne is working hard. Good evening again. <laughs> this is where all the action is. This is where all the action is. How are we, how are we doing? Oh, come here. Come here. What's that? What's your, what's, Give him, give him a little bit of hush. What's your name? Danny. Danny. Right. Are you, ma are you married, Danny? I'm a fool. No, no, no. You're not married? No. Are you looking for a girlfriend, Danny? No. You're not looking for a girlfriend? Looking for a boyfriend, Danny? Ah! Yeah. All right. Well, there's loads of them down there. I'm sure you can find one amongst there. i tell you what we'll do. We've got a birthday girl somewhere, I believe, that someone was just... Oh, here she is. Let me zip round there. Evening. Are you ready? Just, just, just while we make sure. What's your name? Look over there. Look at the camera. There we go. Big smile. Oh, look at the dental work there. Right. Um, what's your name? Mr. John. Did he really? <laughs> John. What's, Dawn. It is Dawn. How old are you today, Dawn? All the ducks. Dawn is quackers. <laughs> 22. Yep. Sweet 22. You married? No. Girl, boyfriend? I was going to take a look. Boyfriend? <laughs> no. Looking for one? Always. <laughs> Listen, we can find her somewhere. Where is he? Where? Oh, there he is. Come and sit on her lap. Now, now, don't look around. Listen, I brought you a toy boy. Do you mind? Yeah. It's, it's, it's our very own Daily's action man. There we go. Sit on her knee. Look at that. There we go. How's that, how's that for Virgin on Ridiculous? Anyway, let's move on. We are going now. Is it, you enjoyed that, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> now, be honest, was that the biggest thrill you've had all month? Yeah, yes. Was it the biggest thrill you've had all year? Yes. How old are you? 24. Have you had a thrill in 24 years? No. Sportscast can do things for you too. Invite us to your pub. We'll bring chaos there.
Oh, right. hello. <laughs> You're right. All right, we're working on it. We'll be back to you. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to run through the answers. Let's make sure in your public club that all the entry forms are in. Are all your entry forms in? Yes. We're not going to miss anybody at Daly's. We have a lot on offer here. Let's run through them. We're going to zip through these very quickly, as you probably know the score by now. We don't hang around. We go through sport. Mark them off, please, because then we'll run down the numbers. You could win a fabulous sweatshirt here in Daly's tonight. But you could go on and win a trip for two to Florida, Walt Disney World, courtesy of Championship Travel. And I bet you're kicking yourself if you live in this area and haven't come to Daly's because Ray, the landlord, is going to give away two weeks' timeshare yeah, in Florida for the people who win here tonight. Not forever and ever and ever, but two weeks of it. Is it? Oh, sweets. Sweets. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, you can see the resemblance, can't you? Anyway, let's run down them. Going straight through 40 questions very, very quickly. Are you ready to mark? Here we go, wherever you are up and down the country. Question number one, we're on sport. Who scored the Knott's Forest goal, which finally killed Liverpool's chances of the 19th title in May 1991? Ian Warren. Question two. In which month is American football's Super Bowl played. That is January. They get harder. Question number three. The boat race crews row past which football league club's ground? Fulham. Question number four. Who coached Great Britain to four Davis Cup victories in the 1930s? Very famous name, Dan Maskell. Question number five. Which father and son have both been Wimbledon Junior Lawn Tennis Champions? Jeff and John Pache? Tony and Mus... Hang on. Giving you the choice. The answer is either Jeff and John Pache, Tony and Buster Mottram, or Ramanth and Ramesh Krishnan. And as you've seen, it's R and R Krishnan. Sport question number six. Which island's flag bearer for the Commonwealth Games for the last 28 years has had the name Kelly? It is the Isle of Man. The Isle of Man. Question seven. We're on the sport. Which Arsenal player scored his first ever goal for England in the 1-1 draw with Ireland at Wembley in March 1991? Lee Dixon. Now this was the one, wasn't it? Wimbledon champion Yaroslav Drobny won an Olympic silver at which sport? Ice hockey. This is a fun one for Suzanne. She's into all this. She's a very sporting girl, is our Suzanne. The question was, in which sport might participants perform an Eskimo role? The answer is... Canoeing. Canoeing. You knew it all along. Number nine. One more section, or one more question in this section. What name is given to the amateur boxing champions of the USA? Golden Gloves. Ten questions on the sport. How are we doing so far? Let's sit through the answers for you in the entertainment section. Are we ready? Here we go. Entertainment question number one. Which actress plays Bobby in Home and Away on TV? Nicole Dixon. Oh, that was a popular one at Dale's. Question number two. Which song was a hit for The Shadows and for Kathy Kirby? Dan Song. Dan Song. Big hit for The Shadows. If you got this next one wrong, you don't deserve it. Where did Jonathan King say everyone had gone to back in 1965? The moon. Question number four. What was the name of Bernie Winters' St. Bernard dog? Schnorbitz. Don't, wor don't worry about the spelling too much on that, as long as the meaning is there. All right, tell you one again. Who plays DCI Kim Reed in the bill? Carolyn Pickles. Carolyn Pickles. 
who is also, if my memory serves me correctly, Judge Pickle's daughter. That's a popular character there, wasn't it? Uh, entertainment question number six. He's not a tax man, is he? <laughs> Who had a cunning plan and went on to write the TV series Maid Marion and Her Merry Men? That was Tony Robinson. A cracking music question now. Question number seven. Kim Wilde's mother sang with which group? It was the Vernon's girls. Remember, lover, please, please come back. Sorry, my age, then. Entertainment question number eight. Which was the first country to win the Eurovision Song Contest five times? The answer was Luxembourg. Difficult one, difficult one. Entertainment question number nine. Which comedian starred as Anthony, an office worker who wanted to be an artist, in the film Rebel. It was Irene Hancock that starred with him, I think. It was Tony Hancock. I said James Dean. James Dean, well known. It's Irene Handel, wasn't it? Not uh, Irene Hancock. It was Tony Hancock and Irene Handel. Someone over there said James Dean. How many comedy parts have you seen James Dean in? <laughs> One more in the entertainment section. Which Beatle co-wrote Badge for the band Cream? It was... George Harrison. Well done. How are we doing? We are halfway there. 20 out of 20? 19, 18? Something similar? We shall see. I hope you're doing well. Okay. We're on to people and places now. Question number one. Where, which US city stands on the site of the French Fort Duquesne and is named after a British Prime Minister? Do that again. It's got very hot breath. And I can't hear a thing because they stick one of these things in. Ah, Pittsburgh. Yeah. Pittsburgh is the answer, isn't it? I like that. You can do that on all of them if you like. People and places, question number two. Easy one now. Which textile pattern takes its name from a town in Scotland? Haisley. All right, people and places, question number three. What was established as an independent state by the Lateran Treaty of 1929 between Mussolini and the Pope? It was the Vatican, or the Vatican City. All right then. A nice easy one for you. Who was Cher's first husband? Sonny Bono. Sonny Bono, Sonny and Cher. You remember Sonny and Cher, don't you? They were before my time. You know Cher, though, don't you? I do, but I'm sure you remember both of them. <laughs> what, Cher's ribs or the married couple? People and places, question number five. In which London square was a statue of Eisenhower unveiled in January 1988? Grosvenor Square. All right. We're up to people and places, question number six. Wayne Hussey is the lead singer with which group? The answer is... The Mission. People and Places, question number seven. In which TV series does Clive Owen play Derek Love, the leading character? The series was Chancer. Okay. People and Places, question number eight. Which Oscar-winning actor is married to Sinead Kuzak? <laughs> difficult one, difficult one. <laughs> Jeremy Irons was the answer. I will get him back for that, I promise you. Thank you. People and places, question number nine. Quick. This is what they, what they what they don't realise is this is actually the prize for whoever wins tonight. Especially, especially organised by Ray. Let's move on. Which is the most southerly province? Because we're only on number nine on people and places. Which is the most southerly province of Portugal? Is it the Algarve, 
Estremaduro, or Baixo Alentejo, or however you want to spell it. It's the Algarve. My goodness, it's not the last one. All right, people and places, question number 10. Tony Scoggins for, was elected as a Labour councillor for Nosy in May 1991. Plays which character in Brookside? The answer is Matty Nolan. Okay, there we go, question. There we go, question. There we go, that's one more section. Excuse me. <laughs> Always the gentleman. Do you remember when your mum always used to say, carry, carry, always wear clean pants the best, always carry a clean hanky just in case you... Oh, Suzanne, you made an old man very happy. Right, we have one more section to do, and let's find out a winner. Okay, it's general knowledge, it's question number one. What did learned drivers first have to display on their vehicles in 1935? Easy one, L plates. Yay! Question number two, which animal is known collectively as a mob? Is it kangaroos, monkeys or hyenas? The answer, kangaroos. Alright, the question that you like so much. Which pop group took its name from a sex aid in William Burroughs' novel, The Naked Lunch. It was Steely Dan. Have you ever heard of a Steely Dan? What? If anybody knows what a Steely Dan is, or does, if you could write to us, please, at Sportscast, to Peter, our floor manager, who collects things like that. He'd be very grateful. Thank you. <laughs> He's actually here. He's, He's the one you, you may have glimpsed briefly. Who's, who's running away? Where are we? This, this is Peter. Who is going to read the next question? He's the one that cleaned me up just then. What was the name of Harvey Smith's first famous horse? Farmer's Boy. I think that deserves a round of applause. General knowledge, question number five. Which unlikely astronomical event provided a chart-topping single for the Marcells. Which unlikely astronomical event provided a chart-topping single for the Marcells? General knowledge question number six. We've only got a few more to go. On board which US battleship did the Japanese surrender in September 1945? Was it Maine, Missouri or Florida? The answer was Missouri. Missouri, good answer there. Question number seven. Who said on his return to the saddle, it's always the same, one leg each kind of the horse? Lester Piggott. Only a couple to go, general knowledge. Who wrote the searchers hit Needles and Pins and King Khan's hit Betty Davis Eyes? Was it Bert Bacharach, Jackie DeShannon or Tim Hardin? It was... Jackie DeShannon. Two questions to go. General knowledge question number nine. Who did Admiral Donitz briefly succeed as Führer of Germany? It was Hitler. And the last one, Suzanne. How much in new money is the old coin known as the Florin worth? And it was ten pence. Ten pence. Well, that is it. The question is, who is going to be a winner? Are you ready? Let's count down. Add them up very quickly, wherever you are up and down the country. This is the series for the night. There are 40 questions. Let's see how many out of 40 you have got. Add them up. We'll give you a couple of seconds to do that. Don't forget, tomorrow night, right here on Sportscast, 9.40. Different time for the rugby. A little bit later than normal, 9.40. And then on Thursday, we have boxing from Barking. But that starts at 8 o'clock. Now it's the chance of winning a trip to Florida. Are we ready? Let's run down very quickly here in Cuddeth. 40, 39, 38, 37, 
36, 35, this is for you wherever you are, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, we've got to find a winner now, 29, you said it, 28, 27, 26, 26, we, do we have a 26? Come on around the corner, sir. Come on around here. We have a winner of 26. We have a winner of 26. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, well done, sir. Right. Kev. Hello, Kev. Yeah. Well done, sir. Congratulations. What? Yeah, but you did that before. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, you know that horrible sort of T-shirt that was covered in... Yeah, that's all it, yeah. Yeah. We haven't got you that one. We've got a nice new clean one. There we go. Well done. Congratulations. Well done. Our thanks to everybody here. Don't forget... Don't forget, we've got a second prize for you. Come here. This is... present to Suzanne for the night. This is, I hope you two will be very happy together. All right. It's made, it's made your night, hasn't it? Yes. Yes, it's a bit like the end of a boxing match. It's a bit noisy, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Do you understand me? Yes. Good. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you. Good. Thank you very much, indeed. Tell you what we'll do. Tell you what. That's for you. Because it goes so well with the outfit, don't you think? Gavin. Oh, and a kiss. Oh, I've got you. Oh. By the way, the landlord is giving away a trip for two to Disney World for tonight as well. All right, so that. So congratulations to our winner over there. All we've got to say is thank you to everybody here at Daly's. For a terrific night. Don't forget, next week we're on the road. We're going to Hull, to the Crown in Hull. So we shall see you there from Suzanne. And from me, and from all the team, till next week, bye-bye. Thank you for watching British Aerospace Sportcast.